everybody, it's Anita Gray with 30 Days Plastic Free Challenge, day number two. Let's talk about plastic bags today. So yesterday, when I looked through the trash I've generated over the last few months, the majority of it was um, a huge number of plastic bags. And actually, I realized that I have both fancy ones, and I have those you need just to carry some stuff in, or actually to carry the fruits and vegetables you buy from the place you take them up to the counter. No use afterwards, right? So what happened today was that I've cheated. It's your second day and I've cheated already. My brother came over and he brought me all those fruits and vegetables. And of course they were wrapped in plastic bags like this. And he's like, no, I can't. I can't do that. I'm on a challenge. That's not fair. And he said, what we will do the following. You will take the vegetables as many as you need, leaving the rest for me with plastic bags and I'll take them to my house. Yeah, that's what happened. But then I realized I don't give him the solution to the problem. Yes, my family know that I'm going plastic free. Yeah, they think it's a bit more complicated nowadays to be around me talking about all this plastic and pollution. But I need to find a solution to make their life easier as well. So why is it important for me to actually stop using plastic bags. And there were two cards I've prepared. <laughs> so they're actually numbers which drive me, and maybe I'll just put them around somewhere on the wall to remind me why am I doing this. So imagine that annually we, ki we kill 100,000 marine animals. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? I mean, that's really a lot. Um, yeah, due to the plastic pollution. Actually, plastic bags solely. And then 46,000 of plastic bags are floating out there right now in the ocean per square mile. That's actually a lot as well, isn't it? So, I used to think that I'm good. Like, I'm responsible. Uh, I've had this bag for shopping for quite a while. And then, yeah, and I love it from my university. But it's not enough because I can put the shopping, but still to come up to the counter, they kindly consist. Yeah, uh, from now on, nobody will insist on taking a single plastic bag out of a shop. Um, but uh, I need something, right, to put products in it. And uh, I used to have some paper bags as well. So I was like really thinking I was doing good. But no, today proved. I failed and I failed my whole family. So I'm going to teach you how to make plastic, oh well, no, substitution for the plastic bag uh, out of an unwanted garment, unwanted garment at home. Yes, so I'm going to use this really nice pair of trousers, which are a bit bigger than my actual size. And I'm going to use this plastic bag it's actually a pattern uh, to make a, as long of a bag. And yes, watch my tutorial, which is going to follow soon, definitely by the end of tomorrow, before the third day starts, with all the description. And maybe even if somebody needs a PDF document explaining how to finish it. Even if you don't have a sewing machine like one of those, it helped me a lot then uh, yeah there is always a hand stitch you can use uh, because the thing I came up with it should be quite easy to to make for anybody yeah so I'm looking forward to finishing those bags right now and sharing them with you thank you for watching see you tomorrow